says the Ma'or Einayim <clears throat> that all of our Avaida, everything that we do, that we do during the week, is considered like Meleches HaMishkan, the building of the Mishkan, building of the holy traveling Beis HaMikdash, traveling tabernacle that the Jewish people had in the wilderness. Um, and Shabbos um, is Sod HaKamas HaMishkan, erecting the Mishkan. So there's building it and there's erecting it. And the question is, what are we supposed to make of this uh, somewhat cryptic reference? Did you ever wonder why it is that the 39 Melachas of Shabbos, the 39 things that you can't do on Shabbos, are the 39 things that the Mishkan needed in order to be built, the 39 things the Jews did to build the Mishkan? What is the relationship between Shabbos and the building of the Mishkan? So we know that it's because it says Malacha in the Torah in two different places, and and, and it's, it links them conceptually in the Torah. But the question is, what is really the, the deeper meaning behind this? So there's one clear theme that is a very masterful presentation is done by the Ramah in the Sefer Torah. So oh, very thorough, it's very Yisodistic in my Malcolm. But it's echoed in all the Svarim, the following idea. Hashem built the world. And when He built the world, He created. Now, human beings are different than Hashem, fundamentally, because Hashem has no body and no physical properties. But our cells are miniature worlds. It says in the Avastur of Nasan, it's full parak on this. How every single thing that exists in the universe exists within human beings. And Chazal says this in a number of places. Human beings have the universe inside of them because every human is a miniature world. When Hashem built our world, there's certain things that He did. Well, additionally, building the Mishkan was also a miniature world. The base Hamikdash was a miniature world. Everything that exists in the universe exists in the Mishkan. So now we have three things. We have human beings who are miniature worlds. We have a Mishkan that's a miniature world. And we have the world itself. When Hashem instructed us to build the Mishkan, He was telling us, build a microcosm of the universe. Everything that exists in the universe will exist in some symbolic or practical way here in the Mishkan. And therefore, what we have to do, it requires human beings 39 different behaviors to create the world this miniature world, then we can imagine that whatever that means for Hashem resting on Shabbos from His creation, He would rest from things that would parallel what it would take a human being to do to create. And therefore, when we're told to rest, we're told to rest from the sort of labor that if we were doing it, we would have been able to create a world. And therefore, our creation of productivity in this world, our contribution to the world, is Malachas HaMishkan. It's the building of a place wherein God can have a resting place in this world, an influence in this world, a home. No longer be a stranger that values and Torah ideals will not be some sort of distant thing that has no relationship to life, but is actually home in this world. If we were to understand that our behavior in this world is like building the Mishkan, then we might understand a few very interesting things. If a person were sitting there in the Beis HaMikdash, in the Mishkan, you know, there was a lot of work that was done that would otherwise be unpleasant. I mean, it was filled with animals coming for sacrifices. That Those animals make their presence known. They go to the bathroom, but they don't actually go to bathrooms. And someone has to come and sweep up. There are korbanos being slaughtered and blood is getting everywhere and kohanim are getting dirty. We don't think about this so much but there's feces and there's blood. And it's the highest level of serving Hashem. Everybody wanted the opportunity. Those Kohanim would give anything for another opportunity to be the one to offer the Korban. It's not really different when one changes one's child's diaper. They're no different than a Kohen Golo if they're there to serve Hashem. The Malachos that we do in this world, the weekday activities, the mundane activities, are building us a mishkan. They're building us a relationship with God. And on Shabbos is a time that we stop to rest from having to build that relationship. And it's hakamas mishkan. The mishkan is there. We can sit in it. We can experience it. To remember that every one of us is a miniature world. And the Beis HaMikdash is a miniature world too. So every one of us is linked tremendously to the Beis HaMikdash. And that our work in building the Mishkan 
But they saw Mikdash, I'm using those interchangeably because Mishkan, Ikri Mikdash, and Mikdash, Ikri Mishkan. But to build this place wherein we can connect our entire life, our whole weekday, all of our work, and realize we're building a Mishkan. We're building something meaningful. It's not nothing. These labors are not just something that we do to get them out of the way. We're no different than a Kohen, even if some of them are a little bit smelly and a little bit messy. 